previously, I traveled by air above the places where we've been fishing and sailing here along the coast. It was a really great feeling to get out and travel for a little bit, especially since we traveled to Vancouver with the kids that I teach for a week-long science-filled educational extravaganza. Robbie and I replaced the windows on our sailboat and we were even offered by one of our viewers a new, well, used sailboat. But let's back it up a little bit. I want to back it up before Robbie and I even bought my way last summer. Before we sailed around the Gulf Islands, traveled to Vancouver downtown with her, and up around the west coast of the island here. Back to a time when I bought my first sailboat ever, a 20 or so foot twin keeler named Viva. I should mention that at that time, I had no idea what I was doing. Everything I did was a big disaster. She had no engine, and her auxiliary power was arm power. Two big long oars that we carry on my way to this day. But Viva wasn't a fast enough boat. I started to hear about how multi-hulls were even faster. So I started to become obsessed with multi-hulls catamarans in particular, and easy to build catamarans. I had this plan that I was going to build my dream catamaran, a warm 21 or 26 footer, made out of aluminum to make her indestructible. I became lucky and there was actually one for sale nearby, a Tiki 21, which didn't come with the rigging, so I had to figure that out on my own. And, once again, I had no idea what I was doing. She was a fun and fast little boat. And we survived some rough winds out on Kitsilano Beach and in English Bay near Vancouver. We also had some good sails out there. Even if this little worm of mine looked like something out of Mad Max with chains holding things together and rope lashings, keeping everything and anything from falling apart. But eventually, I had enough mishaps that I sold her just as I had sold Viva, the twin keeler. And then eventually, I would meet Robbie and we would finally get my way. Uh, in the last two weeks, we have removed the stanchions and the and the pulpit and the push pit. This project was slightly extra work than I think needed to be done, but that's all right. I went out for a canoe trip up, uh, up to Garden Point, which is a place where we've anchored before, so it was kind of interesting to paddle out there in nothing but a tippy canoe with some teacher friends and family and friends.
I can see its tube. Yeah. They're big. The difficulty is getting underneath it so you don't crush its shell. Some of the other ones, it pulled it back in. I don't know how significant that is, whether it's died if it doesn't pull it back in. Yeah, that tube is going to be a bit tough, isn't it? There's something <laughs> about it which doesn't exactly look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I got some major sunburn, my first sunburn of the year. I haven't been getting enough sun lately. Just a tiny bit of sun started to peel, make me peel. I'm really itchy from fiberglass. I'm really itching to leave Zabalis, even though I'm gonna miss our friends. Um, and I'm going to miss the kids at the school. So it's raining again. Uh, making epoxy work kind of interesting on the boat. Again, I'm gonna be happy to go south from here. Where are we going, Ravi? I'm going to Mexico. Where this doesn't happen ever, where it doesn't rain ever. Well, that's not true. So, okay, so we're not going to be heading exactly south. We actually have to go north first. We have to finish the circumnavigation of Vancouver Island. We have been struggling with with day gazillion whatever of rain. We have been struggling to finish the projects here that we want to finish before we leave Zabalis. It's not very much to do, but we need the dry weather to do it. So here's hoping that by the time I'm done making this video, that exact thing has happened. That we have painted and we have rebedded those pieces on the deck. In desperate need of a fishing trip. You just went fishing last weekend. No, fishing? No, I was not fishing. I was messing about. Proper fishing. Mm. Some of the lures look more appetizing than the fish we get. All spiny and weird and the ugly little like gremlins, the rock fish. A face only a mother could love. We are going to be sailing around the north end of the island and that means a lot more cooking, a lot more fishing and so that means we're going to be cooking again on this particular stove soon which is in this cramped condition when under sail and I can't wait for it to happen again. Why are there so many down there? Ooh. 